Hello everybody. Today it's in the 40s, 42 last I looked, which is making the snow melt, which is a good thing, but the bad thing is that we have a winter weather advisory starting tonight at 11 p.m. because it's going to get cold, start snowing again, and all this melted stuff is going to freeze and become ice. So they have a an advisory for slippery roads from 11 p.m. tonight until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Good thing we don't have to go anywhere. We won't go off the road. But it's good that the snow is starting to melt. And I hear somebody's rooster somewhere. Both our neighbors on each side of us now have chickens. Chickens for sure. See? Ducks to the right and chickens, and I don't know if that blue house over there has ducks too, but they sure have a loud rooster. And if it's not them, it's one of their real close neighbors, because I keep hearing that rooster yelling. I see we have some bare ground showing in front of the shed, so that's good to actually see the ground again, even though probably not for long, because like I said, it's gonna start snowing again. But this is pretty muddy. But we always have mud season before everything dries up in the spring. But it probably won't be until April before we get the real thaw and all the mud. So this is just temporary for today. Dinner tonight is the same thing as last night. Beef roast, potatoes, carrots, and onions. Because it's left overnight and we had tons and tons left. So now it's day two and it snowed all night long and all day. And Don's out there cleaning it up. And this is the big mess we have again, even though it's pretty. And Graystripe asked to go out, he wanted to, so there he is. So dinner tonight is chilly, and this time there is this big can of black beans, three of these, there's this, and this, these, and this, chili powder, some of that powder that Don made from the jalapenos he dehydrated. Actual jalapenos this time, gonna give that a try. And this is venison, hamburger, and onions. And this is all spiced up with salt, pepper, chili powder, some of those red pepper flakes garlic powder and Don's heading out because we are missing the tomato the can of tomato juice for the main base and shredded cheese so he's going to get those but this is what's in the pot so far and I haven't stirred it up yet all the beans all the spices the jalapenos the hot sauce hopefully it's not too hot but I really wanted to go spicy this time so We'll see how this works out. And one more thing I almost forgot that I've been wanting to try. Corn. I have never put corn in my own homemade chili before. But I really like it in other chili. So I'm sure that'll be good. So I'm just waiting for this all to cook through. And then it can be dumped in. And when Don gets back, the tomato juice can get dumped in. And then we'll have a big pot of chili. And it's healthier than hamburger whoops bunch of steam because this is very lean venison hamburger not greasy fatty beef hamburger and we'll have lots of leftovers so it's a good few few meals I'm preparing here so I do have one bit of good news regarding my weight loss I haven't weighed myself in a long time like a month the last time I did it said I weighed that I lost 19 pounds, but it must be more by now, but I've been afraid to get on the scale because I don't want to see anything negative But the shirt here Is a brand new shirt. It's a 3x and I bought two of these when I still weighed 350 pounds I could not button the bottom buttons. It was too tight and I couldn't move my arms Because that was too tight. So I got up the nerve and tried it on today after I took my shower and it fits perfect now So that's a really good sign 
so there's I have another one of these too in a little different color two brand new shirts I can actually wear now instead of the old raggedy junk that I was having to wear because it was the only thing that fit so now I can throw away some of that raggedy junk at least two shirts two raggedy shirts because I can I have these two nice new ones to replace them with now okay Don is back with the tomato juice and in it goes everything else is in there And then all it has to do is cook for a good long while and it'll be really good. Oh, added corn? Yes. I wanted make to try it, that. Make it more southern style? Yeah, I've never made chili with corn of my own, but I've I like corn and chili whenever I have it from anybody else, so. Well, I've added corn plenty of times. Yeah. Not since we've been together, I don't think. No, not since we've been together, but I have added it plenty of times, though. Yeah. There, the chili is all done. And we have crackers, shredded cheese, and sour cream for it. Cream? Yeah. So it'll be really good. So dinner was really, really good. That chili came out really good that way. So I think I'll do that from now on. And that was my first time ever putting sour cream on chili. Even though I've seen, seen it done a lot of times by other people in YouTube videos when they're eating chili but I have never ever done it and it was really good so I'll keep doing that too because if you don't slop on tons and tons there aren't that many calories but Don wouldn't try the sour cream so he doesn't know how good that was I tried to talk him into it but he wouldn't what did you think of the chili? it was good not too hot for you? no, it'll be fine alright good kitties Here's the kitties, and here's Tug. Yes, he got a new cone, but he only needs to wear it sometimes, because sometimes he still pulls out his own fur, but not as often. So he doesn't wear that very much anymore. It's just helping him grow all his fur back. All the kitties, Spotted Leaf, Smokey, White Storm. Kylo was here a second ago. Gizzard! Yep. Gizzard's always in bed, but he comes as soon as you say something. Come on, Gizzard! There you are. So there is a shortage on these guys' treats. The Hearts Delectable Squeeze-Ups. So the, the Hearts Company, because of the pandemic, is not making, are not making those treats right now. So we have to conserve what they have left until we can get them some more. Which there might be 10 of them left. So you guys will have to uh, be more sp sparing with your treats. Because when they're gone, they're gone. For a while. <laughs> so you better uh, try to make them last. So otherwise there isn't a whole lot going on. Oh, except that uh, the belt, the drive belt on Don's little plow broke. So he has, we have to get a new belt for that. And the, the John Deere plow thing is broken down in the yard now. And it, he can't move it because the lever that's supposed to be on the back to make it so you can push it is missing. So the back tires are locked. Right? Yep. All right, that kind of sucks that that broke on you though, right? Yeah. While you were in the process of plowing. Yeah. Well, your mom said they've been having a lot of problems with that thing. So. Yeah, and they bought it used themselves like 20 years ago. It is not a brand new piece of machinery. No. But that's why they gave it to us because they've been having a lot of issues with it. So. Yeah, but you know how to fix things, so it'll be fine. You just have yeah. to get the belt. Yeah. Well, if that rear end ever goes, there ain't nothing I can do about it unless we get another rear end for it. Yeah. Yep. It is what it is. At least it's out of the way, so... Yeah, it's not in the driveway. <laughs> no. But we're going to have to uh, hand cover the rest of the driveway, though. What about those two little snow blowers we had? What happened to those? Uh, the one got... The one yellow one, yellow and white one, got traded off for the tilt paper for the car. Oh. And the red one, that ain't worth two kits. That about something that thing's worth is scrap. Oh. It runs good, but... You don't pick the smoke and throw it. 
Oh, all right then. So we're going to go ahead and say good night, and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Say good morning. And we'll see you tomorrow.